presence of God to unite this man and this woman to the sacred ties of matrimony, shall we pray? God be merciful unto us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Favor upon Jeffrey and Karen as they desire now to make their vows before thee. We are grateful for the families that have reared them to maturity and the providence which has led them to this happy and holy altar of marriage. Grant this to be more than an outward union, but rather the blending of heart and spirit and purpose. Let each with the inward qualities of loyalty, honor, purity, self control, trust, cooperation, and forgiveness that they may keep faithfully the holy time and may live together all their days in true love and perfect peace through Jesus Christ, the Master of the Art of Living and our Savior. Amen. We read in the Old Testament that when God made a covenant with Noah, he set a bow in the closet that no can thereof, and said, I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant. And from this we learn that it is well for us when we enter into solemn agreement one with the other, set apart some reminder of what we, what we have promised, and as tokens of your marriage covenant, you each selected a ring of gold. Gold precious among metals, fittingly represents the precious ties that unite husband and wife. These rings, endless until broken by outside forces, are fit symbols of the unbroken partnership of marriage, which should continue until broken by death. Let them be unto you constant reminders of your obligations to each other and you did finish to their fulfillment. For as much as a husband imparts to his wife his name and receives her into his care and keeping, Jeffrey, I give you this ring you've chosen, place it on the wedding finger of your bride and say to her these words. I, Jeffrey, give this ring to you, Karen. I, Jeffrey, give this ring to you, Karen. And by this act declare, and by this act declare, in the presence of these witnesses, in the presence of these witnesses, that I take you to be my beloved wife, that I take you to be my beloved wife, that I will be unto you a faithful husband, that I will be unto you a faithful husband, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Here, take the ring you selected, place it on the wedding finger of the man you're buying, and say in these words. I, Karen, give this ring to you, Jeffrey. I, Karen, give this ring to you, Jeffrey. And thus declare, declare, in the presence of these witnesses, the of these witnesses that you are the husband of my choice, that, you are the of my choice that, I will be faithful to you, that I will be faithful to you, as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I should wear these rings as an imposing bond of reverence and trust. You both are to fulfill a perfect circle of duty that makes you one. And as you wish for happiness in your married life, I charge you to be true to the vow that you take. With your marriage, you begin life under new conditions and with larger responsibilities. And it's by faithfully performing the duties and fulfilling the obligations of this relationship that true and lasting happiness can be found. And now we repeat together after me, take our love, Lord. Make it your love. Make it your love. Take our lives, Lord. Take our lives, Lord. Make them your life. Make them your life. Take our home, Lord. Take our home, Lord. Make it your home. Make it your home. Take it all, Lord. Take it all. Make it yours. Make it yours. For as much as you, Jeffrey, and you, Karen, have openly declared your wishes to be united and married, and in the presence of God and before these witnesses, such love and fidelity each to the other. And to confirm the same by each giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands, I as a minister of Christ's church, <coughs> legally authorized to do so with the state of Nevada, pronounce now your husband and wife. Guard you all this woman will not commit yourself to your keeping, and strive so to live that no word or deed of yours shall cause her bow of sorrow, or dim her eyes with tears of grief. And Karen, may you strive to retain by your virtues the heart that you've won to your graces. May both of you let not your voices lose the tender tone of affection. Let not your eyes forget the gentle ray they wore in courtship's smiling day. So you will find in your union an unfailing source of joy, being one in name, one in aim, and one in happy destiny together, shall we pray. Father, we ask that the message of the book of Ruth be your reality today. And should we not believe you or to return from following of you, before you go, I will go. For you lodge, I will lie. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Lord, bless you and keep you. 
Lord, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lord, look at his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. You may see your thousands of kids. <laughs> you want me to get back over here for me? I'll stand away. Oh, 